Dickens offers custom creations too, such as costuming, illustrations, and more. Come visit us at MagicalFantasy.com. Well, that was some boring music. Spike! Come on, where's the Justin Bieber? Where's the Katy Perry? Where's the Fallout Boy? Noddle, you have witch powers. Turn him into a chipmunk and feed him to the owl outside. I will do no such thing. We're here to talk about our website. HomeCanineNeutering.com What? No! InvaderPet.com Where people can check out our comic strips or locate bookstores selling bookmarks with our comics on them. So, listeners, want to see comics of me, Noddle the Witch, my pets Kaylee Cat and Spike Beagle? Go to InvaderPet.com and check us out. Seriously, though, you guys really have a canine noodle? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the music. We are back. And uh, thanks again to I'm David. front. She's back. <laughs> yeah. And Lori, Lori Ann is our, side, our psychic. <laughs> Yeah, I am just along for the ride tonight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All righty. So, David, Co- Dave, if you guys just tuning in, David from Club Congress, who is the lead singer, by the way, from the Sidekick. Um, hang on. If you guys want to know who he is from, hang on a minute. Well, I'll go ahead and do that in a second. Uh, go ahead, Spider. Tell us what's what is what is the sh- show all about. Well, let's talk about the music. The show where we guess what we talk about the music, specifically with local and independent musicians across the globe. Specifically, independent musicians who are not signed to a major label. Most cases, we do make exceptions of people signed to a some some sort of a contract afterwards. Like Maximus is with Voodoo Queen Management. Congratulations, by the way, pretty awesome. Still, we're all still stoked about that. Um, but yeah, we're we're in we're independent music. We talk to musicians, we talk to venues, and we just we want to know what you're about. We want to know why you do what you do. We want to know if you have any awful true Hollywood stories. We're we want to have some fun, and that's what we do. And we talk Sidewinders. about the music. That's yes, right. Sidewinders here is David's band that he used to be in. Not anymore, but uh, yeah, here you go. You can Google them out. Alrighty, so we have another one who's going to be calling in in a second. Yeah, we had a we had a big we had a big name c- come in the show. We didn't even know about until towards in, until end of his segue. What the heck, man? <laughs> hey, no, we we don't like to name drop. Well, except you know, unless we're talking about like serial obsession or somebody, because that would be the best news I've heard all day. Yes, but, I had to uh, take that <laughs> take that out because the fact that you know. All right, so how about hey, Lorianne? So there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So how about really quickly, are you, are you able to do a reading for the show itself? Yeah, that I can do. Let's see. Let me grab my cards here. Reshuffle. We want to do a reading on Let's Talk About Music. Yep. We want to see what's up. Where it's going, where it's been, all the good important things. Got one more shuffle here. Alrighty, I just gotta cut the deck. Cause you and me and the devil make three. Woohoo! Oh. Well, Spider has a song mm-hmm. called Deal with the Devil. <laughs> Goes with it. <laughs> so the first card is the Ace of Cups. And that's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's a whole new beginning with the ace. And the cups make it emotional. They make it artistic. They make it musical. They make it something of the heart. What's crossing you guys is that everybody has a little bit too much on their plate. And everybody's trying to juggle their domestic life Mm -hmm. with their professional life. It's it's the nine of cups. It's great. The Nine of Cups is actually fine. It, it kind of means that everybody's doing okay. If you can see the card, it's got a lady with a baby, with a dog, with a bird. There's all these things. And so it's just talking about domestic life and life being full, almost to the point of being overwhelming. Oh, yeah. 
that we're we're, we're definitely that all that's me- everybody in the volunteers that's yes yep. and we're trying to juggle all this oh yes yeah that's definitely our group <laughs> Now, your base and your foundation is the Page of Wands, which is totally fine because it's an Internet show. The Page of Wands is fast, is communication, is bringing you messages, and there's lots of little bunny rabbits in my card. So that's, um, well, on one side it's fast and it moves you quick, but you have to watch the jackassery, you know, kind of like rabbits fuck around a lot sort of a thing. Yeah, that's us too. <laughs> yeah, we fuck around a lot. <laughs> we swear like a few times now, but hey, yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, coming from the past, you have the Emperor. So the Emperor is a pretty powerful card to have behind you, but that was pretty much getting things started. So somebody had a grip on what they were doing and were pretty in control to get the ball rolling. Uh, me. <laughs> Now, what you have going on right now, so you have the emperor, which is a pretty strong kind of push, pushing you forward. You have the messages going back and forth. You have the ace of cups, which is a strong beginning. You have a lot of things on your plate, but you're also walking away from loss and sorrow. That's the eight of cups, meaning that as you go along, you're finding out what doesn't work and you're letting it go. You're going with what does work and you're finding out what doesn't work and you're letting it go. So it's just one of those things. You're working out the bugs, basically. Yep. Season one, the bugs. No, it's no longer the launch show. It's called the bug show. (laughs) The bug show. The bug show. Okay, so this is perfect. Um, uh, Are you guys trying to make money off of this? Yes. Sponsors. Okay, well, you got the... Yeah, you got the ton of coins coming up. So that's a a full financial card, and that's the first financial card I've pulled. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Right? And it's the tech cup. Oh, yeah. If you could see this card, there's a, a white wall surrounding a garden. There's coins on the trees. There's babies playing. There's instruments. There's people reading books. It's the completion of money. So if if you're looking for sponsors and you're looking to get a stable foundation with money, this is the card you want. So you're going from not having any money (laughs) to to actually getting getting some money. Oh, oh my gosh! Thank God. Yes, (laughs) it's coming because all all of our sponsors, all of our volunteers are like, we feel something here. We we know this is a good thing. We we feel it, and we're just like, okay, waiting. Waiting. I'm like, okay, guys, keep doing. We got it going on. <laughs> we can do well, it. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, right, right now, how you feel about what's going on, it's kind of a weird card. But it's the two of cups, meaning that you're actually building a, well, this is a huge building a relationship with not only your, your listeners, but with the people that you talk to. So this is all um, pretty much kind of one-on-one, back-and-forth stuff. But it's really working well for you. Cool. And somebody is in a state of complete truth and anxiety. <laughs> well, I wonder so. who that could be. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> Spider, who uh, decides <laughs> Anxiety. To... Hmm. It's the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords shows a guy sitting up in the middle of the night in his bed with an evil black dog barking at him and all these swords on the wall. And all it is is anxiety. It's somebody pulling their hair out. It's being completely stressed to the point where you're not even getting good sleep anymore. Gee, Spider, who is that? (laughs) You got in a fight with a... a, uh, desk fan and lost uh, I, I wouldn't say that that was due to anxiety I would say that, that was due to me just being clumsy in the night <laughs> <laughs> your your greatest fears um, or your best hope is the four of coins it means you want to be financially stable yes you, you, you want to be paying for yourself, and you even you even want to be able to give out a little money every now and then. 
to my to my volunteers, especially to Ty oh, and Erica. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Give a little all right. Yeah. So I'm gonna this. Okay, so you got a guy in your future. <laughs> um, your final outcome. Now, your your immediate final outcome was the ten of coins, which is finances, which is somebody basically giving you a loan or being happy financially, not having to struggle at all. And what you have is the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups can be a sponsor, um, or it can be a, a male who is what we would consider like a mature male um, who can affect the situation or affect your podcast. Your hmm. King of Cups tends to be a Cancer or a water sign. He's pretty positive, although the Cups are emotions, so they're your artists, your empaths. Um, he's got armor on his feet, meaning he can fight and he's protected, but he's still standing on the ground, so he's grounded and understands what's going on. Cool. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. I don't know. It's in your future, so I don't even know if you've encountered him yet. I don't know. To me, it looks like, like a future sponsor is what it looks like to me. Sweet. I'm all over that. Sweet. All right. So I, I would say that the only negative cards you have on the board are that Nine of Swords, which is me- it's more mental distress than actual, like, things going wrong in your life and the eight of cups which isn't really negative it's just walking away from loss and sorrow walking away from what doesn't work cool all in all i'd have to say that you're probably going to find a sponsor and you're probably going to be able to get this to pay for itself that would be nice because my computer is running out of memory so, I'll let you guys know that um, autoplay is going to be held off until I get new memory in my computer or have it rebuilt. So, yeah, I had to dump a lot of things out. So, the computer is like the main thing. I'm like, oh my God, please let the show run. <laughs> so, yeah. I want t shirts too. Look at this. They think you have a sugar daddy, Shells. I do? Yeah, look, if you look in the chat room, they're all like, oh, the mature man could be Spider. I don't know you that well, Spider. But, um. <laughs> no. It's, are it's are you a water sign, sweetie? Huh? Spider, are you a water sign? I am a water sign, although I wouldn't necessarily say how mature I am. Um, <laughs> that's probably debatable, depending on who you ask. <laughs> Well, I, I, if it's if it's in your future, then you're you're doing fine. To me, it looks like somebody you guys don't know yet, but um, it could be you. You could be uh, navigating yourself well into sponsorship or well financially. Well, that would be nice. Cool. What's your stress? About? Um, well, most of the time, I'm actually relatively chilled out personally. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's going on that is pretty stressful, although I wouldn't say that I'm super stressed about it particularly, just because I'm one of those people that uh, if you're in a stressful situation and you have to deal with it, then you got to deal with it one way or the other, so there's no point really getting super upset about it. So maybe passively yeah, stressed, I, I guess, but not actively stressed. Not passively stressed. So it sneaks up on you in the middle of the night when you, like, bolt upright and go, oh, my God, but wait, no, I'll go back to sleep. Is that it? <laughs> Maybe, although I, I don't sleep much. I, I get insomnia, and so I stay up super, 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 super late because that's the best way to actually get any sort of sleep, to be almost, like, near exhausted and, and be like, okay, now I can sleep. Oh, yeah, I, I know that one. All right, hon. Well, there's your there's your reading on your podcast. Wow, cool. We're going we're going places, Spider. I told you, just hold on tight, man. Just hold on. Can we go to Margaritaville? Because that'd be pretty yes. awesome. We should go to Margaritaville <laughs> and we do a podcast there. And we ha- we should have our one year anniversary. Well, we can't do our one year anniversary there, but we gotta have our second year anniversary at Margaritaville in the Margarita class. Where? 
Where, where is Margaritaville exactly? I don't know. 